Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a package. I am part of the Junk Journal Challenge hosted by Melissa Makes It DIY. And I got my box. So, I've never done a junk journal before. This is the first time. I got my box from Cindy at That Crafting Lady. And turns out we don't live that far away from each other. So, I'm gonna open it now. And I have the cute little card. It's so pretty. Envelope's gorgeous. So let's see. It says, hi Tammy, I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. This is going to be a fun challenge, Cindy. Yes, it will be, Cindy. I've never made one before, so I'm gonna try. So I have a piece of brown paper bag. Very pretty. Um, I'm not sure what this is. <coughs> um, this sort of reminds me of like the little, I'm dating myself here. Um, like something you would get that covers the, <laughs> the nylons go over. Ooh, that was rough trying to get that one out. <laughs> But that's what it kind of reminds me of. It might be, I don't know, but okay. Some bubble wrap. Another paper bag, like a whole paper bag, like a lunch bag. Ooh, cute little poinsettia. Husky. <laughs> love this idea so they're the different colored paints I actually like some of these colors that flannel pajama is beautiful anyway another one this is polar bear so it's just white oh that's so cute Look. How cute is that? And then, oh. All right, Cindy, you can't send me just an empty package of Tim Holtz. I want the stuff that was inside it too. <laughs> I love his stuff, but this is fun. This is, this is, this is cool. It's the bag too, not just the paper, like not just the cardboard inside. Interesting. And then a piece of, looks like a piece of scrapbook paper, which is gorgeous. I'm going to have to get in touch with Cindy and find out where this came from because I just, I wish there weren't creases in it. <laughs> I mean, I know that's what it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna have to check on that one for sure. Okay, so this looks like maybe it was on the top of the Christmas ornament, like one of those Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments or something. And a couple adorable little candy cane stickers. I think they're stickers. They look like it. I think they're stickers. How cute are those? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. 
So that's it. Not that that's it, but that's it. Um, I have to think now how I'm going to utilize all of this stuff. Should be interesting. I'll make it work. I can do this. I can do this. I know I can. <laughs> do you guys have faith in me? I hope so. Okay. So thank you so much, Cindy. I can't wait to use this stuff. And um, this is probably going to be in there somewhere. Just so you know. I love that thing. So anyway. Thank you so much, and um, I'm going to do a little bit of thinking and a little bit of planning, and I will be back to show you what I've come up with. Hey, everybody. I am back. I've done some thinking, and I think I did pretty good with this, but you'll have to let me know. So anyways, this is part of the junk journal swap and it is hosted by Melissa at Java Jesus and Journaling with Melissa. And she is also Melissa Makes It DIY. So go check out both of her channels. I'll have them linked below. We also have Cindy from That Crafting Lady, Susan from Susan Gazaway Paper Crafting, Shawnee from Glitzy Stitches and Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. I am so excited to be working with all of these ladies. This is my very first junk journal and I hope that you guys like it. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I did was empty out my box and then I took this piece of I don't know, it's like a thicker paper, like a cardstock that kind of looks like one of those pantyhose wrappers. <laughs> and I've decided that that's going to be my cover for my junk journal. So right now I am just taking some regular paper, printer paper, and I am folding it into threes. And I am going to do a bunch of pages, cut them all up, and those will be the pages for my junk journal. So once I got all of the pages cut out, I'm taking a piece of cardstock and I am just tracing that, uh, I'm going to call it my cover now. <laughs> um, so I'm tracing that and I'm going to cut it out and I just wanted to kind of reinforce it a little bit, make it a little bit sturdier. So once I trace them out, I'm just going to cut them and I'm going to uh, use some tape and tape it to this other piece. You'll see, it'll all make sense. I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. <laughs> So of course I want the cover to look pretty. So I'm gonna take one of these sheets of the removable wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. And again, I'm just going to trace that. Actually, no, I don't trace that. I just pull the backing off and I just stick it right to the cardstock. And then I just cut it all out and it's a really pretty cover. And now I'm just going to put the pages in the little 
booklet that I'm making and I'm taking my crocodile <laughs> and I'm going to poke a couple holes in the top of the the paper that like the sheets of paper and the back cover of my journal. And now the fun part, the decorating. So I used some of the other stuff that I already had in my stash as well as some of the stuff that Cindy sent me. And this page right here, I wanted to have a page or two that had some kind of line paper in case I want to write anything in it. So that is my thought process with this piece of paper. Um, it was a, um, a, what am I trying to say? It, I got it from Etsy. So I downloaded, I paid for it, I downloaded it and printed it out. So it's a file from Etsy. There we go. <laughs> so um, I cut that out to um, fit and then I'm just taping it in place. And then I got these two little envelopes that um, I got. They were actually filled with guitar strings. Um, but anyway, so I am taking one of those and I put that on the front cover so that I could put stuff in it. <laughs> And now I'm taking the beautiful uh, envelope that Cindy sent me and I am going to use it as like a little pocket, I guess. Um, and it's, it's very little. Um, I was, I guess I should have made it a bigger journal and I will in the future, but you know, I figured for my first time why not? So she sent me these pictures from Mackenzie Childs. And so I'm just cutting out a couple of those different pictures and I'm going to just um, adhere them to this page as well.
So now I probably should have cut this whole section out, but it was kind of funny, so I figured I'd leave it in there. So I'm trying to make a tassel. I don't know how all of these ladies can make those beaded garlands with the tassels on the end because I apparently can't make a tassel. <laughs> So anyway, I'm trying to create a tassel. Um, I made it work in the end, but it's definitely, um, it definitely requires some practice and uh, improvement on my part. So anyway, I'm making the tassel for the bookmark that I just made. And then I'm taking a piece of the beautiful card that Cindy sent me and I am going to make a little pocket for my bookmark.
And now I'm just taking stuff from my stash and stuff that Cindy gave me and I'm just I'm just adding them to a few of the pages. I don't finish this journal, uh, but I will finish it. And, you know, I'll try to remember to record it and um, let you all see the completely finished version. So you can see at the top that there's a pen on the inside um, cover. I do end up taking that off uh, and do something else with the pen, but, and with that area. Uh, so I did change my mind on that one. I figured if I put it somewhere else, then the book cover will close better. So now I am taking the envelope and I closed it back up as much as I could and I am making another pocket for that and that is oh yep that's still the <laughs> the uh, beautiful tassel bookmark that I made so I do end up putting it back down at the bottom and I put something else in the pocket on the top So here's where I work with my pen. So I'm just 
cutting a strip of the wallpaper sheet and I'm going to use that to hang the um, the pen from. So I'm making like a little loop. Uh, you'll see in just a second. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for my junk journal. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps my channel. I would like to thank Melissa and Cindy, Susan, Shawnee, and Connie for allowing me to participate in this swap with them. I had so much fun. If you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope that you'll consider subscribing and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video and share, share, share with your family and friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.